Ready now, Millie. Easy does it. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Way to go, Sweet Pea. This reminds me of when my dad helped me build my first house of cards. Just like his dad helped him and his mom and her dad. That one came with a wallet. Oh, boy. What's your brother up to now? Oh, boy. What's Cat up to now? <laughs> Sorry, Pumpkin. Coop, do you have to make such a racket? Yes! Thank you! Poking a hornet's nest with a stick, <laughs> waving a red flag at a mad bull, and flying a kite in a lightning storm all at the same time? You mean fun? I mean, maybe you're pushing it a little. Ha! It's impossible to humiliate that fearless creep too much! <laughs> with these babies on, we can work in peace and quiet. Now, let me show you an old Burtonberger technique to make a super strong card house. Using basic engineering principles, we... See? Steady as a rock. What? Uh, what? 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 Anybody seen Cat? No. No, 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 no. No ice cream before dinner. Yeah, you'll spoil your appetite. If Coop gets a pony, so do I. Never mind. Oh, Cat! Huh? Oh, looks like the purple plague is kicking it up a notch. <laughs> That's it? That little thing is what Cat's been spending all his time working on? Uh-oh. Looks like Coop just got a face full of booyah! Coop? Coop! <gasps> What's going on? What's with your eyes? And when did you learn the chicken dance? Controlling Coop? Not possible! <laughs> You're so wedgy! That's inhuman! Say hello to three and a half months of karate lessons! I know! I don't know what you've done to my friend, Cat, but you're not gonna get away with it! You hear me? You are not gonna. Wait, is this a cat? <laughs> What's 
with your eyes. Cook. Must hey, get whoa, cooked. Uh, I don't want to hurt you, but... Must get cooked. <laughs> well, that's it. We've used every single card in the house. We need more cards. What? Ah, Dennis, put it down! I thought we were friends, buddy! Ah! Carpet stink. Ah! Oh! Where did she get that? Sweet sweating, bro. Crazy feedback. Ah! Oh, I smell maximum carnage. Grab the camera. Ah! Boy. Oh, yeah. Can we get that again in a close-up? Hey, how come you guys are normal? I mean, compared to everyone else. Uh... Ugh, saved by waxy buildup. Do you even know what a washcloth looks like? Eh. <sighs> you gotta help me. <laughs> the whole town's out to get me. <laughs> we know. It's awesome. What'd you do to get everybody so ticked off at you? I didn't do anything. They've all been turned into... Zombies! <laughs> You guys have nothing to worry about. Good thing I always keep a supply of cards on hand, eh, Millie? No, Daddy. I don't think the rain will hurt the rhubarb. <laughs> we need a plan. Why don't we do what the dudes did in Twilight of the Zombie Killers? Dude, those dudes ended up totally eaten. Oh, yeah. I know! The humanoids and carnage of the Ungrateful Dead didn't get eaten! Until the sequel! Mushmonger High School! Pummeled by the pep squad, then eaten! Camp Ghoulie Massacre! Drop down a mine shaft, then eaten. Whoa! Revenge of the Sheep Beast! Dipped in chocolate, then eaten. <laughs> oh, face it, bro, we're zombie food! Bummer! But we'll get some awesome footage when they come for your brains! That thing fell out of my ear when the horn went off. We need some kind of sonic blast! Huh? Jackpot! Okay, crank it up and get ready to rock! One and two and hold it! What's our opening number? Screen and snake parade in D minor? Aw, oh, man, let's do Anarchy Weasel! Yeah! Who cares? Play both! Three and four and two! Stuck him in everybody's ears and then... 
Oh, forget it. The important thing is, it's over. Wait till Coop sees this. I love dolphins too, Daddy. Uh, victory dance would probably be highly inappropriate right now. Yeah, I'm ready to give the in-your-face routine a rest. At least until tomorrow. <laughs> Handshake is accompanied by the secret greeting. Hmm. Ha! You call that a secret handshake? Looks like you are shooing away a hornet! The loyal order of the Bootsville Badgers will never let you join with such a lousy technique. Elbow higher! Extend the little pinky! Voila! Oh, thanks for the tip, Henry. I didn't know you're a member. You still don't. A badger must never reveal his identity outside of the den. I was never here. Okay. Waka hey! Oi, oi, oi! We found the impact crater. Heat signature is off the grid. Bingo. Huh? Code blue. A civilian is entering the no go zone. I'm here to read the meter. What meter? How about I ask the questions? He must be from the Badger's top secret membership committee. He's come in disguise to see if I'm badger-worthy. Hey, what's the big idea? I don't want ice cream. Yeah. I was just... Whoa, you guys are Black Ops special agents. You will remember nothing. <laughs> uh, that's a cell phone. Uh, he blinked. So, I take it you're here to deal with our little alien problem next door? Okay now, kids. Best behavior. I want to make a good impression. <laughs> I thought I nailed it. Are you from Area 102? I hear it's twice as top secret as Area 51. What? <laughs> no, there's no such place. Area 102. Where'd you get that crazy idea? It made the cover of last month's Conspiracy Theory Digest. I'm Dennis, and it's a thrill to meet you. Special Agent Fudge Ripple, this is Butterscotch. Neapolitan is Enrica. What'd you tell them that for? Now we have to come up with new secret code names. Dang! Where'd I put that memory eraser? No! I want to cherish this memory. I promise I won't say a word to anyone. And don't you forget it. The slightest leak could jeopardize our mission. My lips are sealed. Nobody wants to be rid of that alien menace more than I do. Hmm. Wait! You better not touch that! It's probably... <laughs> Defective? Oh, I forgot the badger posture of submission. Icky, icky, icky. Whoa. Whoa, that is one hideous dolly. It's not a dolly, silly. Yeah, it's alive! <laughs> Extraterrestrial presence confirmed. So long, cat. And good riddance.
slime ball spill. When's the invasion coming? How should I know? Ask my sister's cat. He's the alien. Ha! You think we're falling for the old shave a cat and painted purple routine? We humans are intelligent life forms, pal. Waka hi! Oi, oi, oi! Nailed it. Where's your home world? Which solar system? What galaxy? How about I ask the questions? Where's the gadget? Finally, I can tell Coop. Wow! They even left a cat double behind. Those guys are clever. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, those guys are knuckleheads. Well, I'm sure they'll be released after questioning. <laughs> right, we gotta rescue them before they end up in an alien dissection video. We can't just save Millie, we have to bring them all back. If we can even find them. The exact location of Area 102 is ultra top secret. Property of Area 102. If found, please return to number 12 Pine Ridge Road Third secret base on the right? Those knuckleheads. Fascinating. They prefer feeding on pancakes rather than live goats. <laughs> hey, cut that out. What are the tickles? <laughs> Ow! A full anatomical dissection will help us figure out how to fight your invasion forces. Aw, oh, come on. Just take an x-ray. That'll prove I'm human. And we can skip the slicing and dicing. Okay, we take Route 310 to Empire City, transfer to the 501 bus, then the 112, then the number 9. Then it's a three-day hike over the Garden Pass to... Or we can take a direct flight. The extraterrestrial is trying to escape. Wrong! The human being is trying to escape. No human could bust those moves. I'll take that as a compliment. Put him and his family in maximum security with the others. Okay, we're over the base. One of us will have to create diversion while the other... Wait! How about a quick driving lesson? What is it? Well, it's unidentified, it's flying, and it appears to be an object of some sort. You know, we really should make up a catchy nickname for when we spot one of those things. We'll get on that right after we shoot it down. <laughs> I'm not sure I do either, Millie. Elaborate initiation rituals are one thing, but dissecting my son to poke around his insides, that's uh... where I put my foot down. Dad, these guys aren't badgers. They're black ops agents who think we're aliens. Huh. Well, that would explain the snazzy clubhouse and the dissecting. <laughs> Right. Well, what do you know? We forgot to lock the door. <laughs> Let me have a turn. Get away. I'm next. Let me finish. Quit hogging. Take your elbow out of my eye. Come on, you guys. It's my turn. Why I... Oh, you're fire. I come in peace. That's Dennis. <laughs> I have a target. They've escaped! Huh? Get back! Uh, I've got a powerful alien squid! <laughs> back, I say! Dennis! Coop? I've lost power! I'm going down! It's okay. I took the laser defenses offline. You're clear to land. Where? On those pointy rocks? Or the other pointy rocks? All I see are pointy rocks! Oh, right! Uh, give me a second. It 
It's nothing but balsa wood and canvas held together with airplane glue and duct tape. Why, this was just an elaborate hoax by a couple of precocious kids. Not again. What? Hey! Like, like, like. Oh, I can't believe at least one of them wasn't an alien. Actually, you know, he did help save you and your family. Maybe he deserves a pass this time. <sighs> Keep looking. I'm sure they're out there. Not that anyone would ever believe you. <laughs> Tonight's real monster truck rally is sold out. Yeah, but this is fun too. Ha! Smash! Well, not for you, maybe, but I'm having a blast. <laughs> oh, yeah? You're headed for the junkyard once I. Cat! <laughs> That's mine, fish breath. <laughs> even closer than that. Actually, nobody says that. Are you sure this is worth it? Your choice, Dennis. Happy Unicorn Rainbow Adventure or a trip through the Cat Blender. <laughs> Your happy unicorn has landed in a pudding bath. Miss a turn. Huh? <laughs> Millie, Cat wants a tickle. <laughs> tickle time! <laughs> Why are you two always fighting? How many times do I have to... I... What did you say? It's fun spending time with Coop. He isn't stinky, smelly, and annoying at all. I decided I should try harder to be a positive influence on my dear, sweet little sister. <sighs> I never thought I'd see this day. My boy is growing up. Uh, Dad, Dennis is watching. Oh, right, right. Well then, have fun at the playground. I'm so proud! <laughs> Cat, we're going to the playground, and I'm going to tickle you all the way. No, 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 no! <laughs> that's Millie, and that's Coop, my oldest. 
<sighs> Seems like only yesterday he was toddling around in a loaded diaper, and now he's out bonding with his little sister. Before you know it, he'll be growing armpit hair and popping zits. Lots of them, if he's anything like his old man. Say, your son wouldn't happen to be a monster truck fan. He sure is. <laughs> Are those? Two tickets to tonight's sold-out monster truck rally. Will you swap for him? Oh, I'm sure we can work something out. But I gotta warn you, I drive a hard bargain. Nice doing business with ya! <laughs> Poor guy never stood a chance. Ha! Mwah! Can't we go to the skate park? No. I love to swing and swing and go. What's that weird noise? Your sister. No. The other weird noise. Ah! I don't know. Coop went to find them. Aw, he's gonna miss the monster truck rally. I got these tickets and... <gasps> I love monster trucks! Can I go? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Okay, no sense letting them go to waste. But we gotta move, it's already started. Ooh, thank you, Daddy. Oh man, where's the key for this thing? See this? He'd love it! Yeah, 
bananas. It's been nice knowing you, Coop. Except for today. Excuse me, is this the popcorn line? <gasps> Mr. Cat, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, did you miss me? Coochie, coochie, coo. all over for you. Coop, what are you doing here? And Dennis? Uh, trying to score some tickets? Uh, too bad, sport. You just missed the smash-tastic finale. Our car! <sighs> Guess we're walking home. Millie, why are you even here? You don't like monster trucks. You don't know me at all. I know you're annoying. I know you have a winning eye. <sighs> well, it was nice while it lasted. Let's drop by the bookstore. I want to see what's new in the parenting aisle. <sighs> I can't wait to get out of these heels and into a warm bath with some scented candles and... Yeah, remind me to pick up a book for your parents, too, Dennis. Uh, coming here, Katniss. Right away, oh high and mighty ruler. What happened to me? Uh, this is humiliating. Why am I sucking up to that purple pest? Training collar. Lord, Harley! I... If King Cat catches you without it, he'll throw you into the cat ball of correction. And then they'll kick you round and round and round and round. It'll be awesome for us to watch. Listen, I I'm not. Human without, without a collar! Human without a collar! Great shot, dude. I gotta go back in time and fix this. No way! To you. If you come to make up, forget it. I only go for real men. How'd you get your collar off? Only the cats can do that. Maybe they took it off for him so he could find our hideout and then betray us. <gasps> <laughs> no way. The cat and I are sworn enemies. Oh, yeah? What about these? Huh? <laughs> that is so wrong. A anyway, that's not me. Not really. I'm a different coop from the future. Or the past. Or a different future. But for sure not this future. Tie him up! Throw him to the cat. Make him give me a foot massage. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, let's not get carried away. Big M makes the decisions around here. Big M? <gasps> well, well, well. Look who the cat's dragged in. Millie! I never thought I'd be so glad to see uh, Those kung fu lessons really paid off. Didn't they? Take him 
to the toy room. King Cat has been looking for us for months. Then you just happened to escape and come here. No human has ever escaped once they've been collared. You're a big fat fibber. I'm not that coop. I came here in a time machine. <laughs> right. Tell me another fairy tale. Still waiting for my foot massage. King Cat's on television. How did this happen? He must have been wearing that collar too long. Don't you remember? They had the element of surprise. People thought they were just weird looking cats. Then went. the training collars went on. Nothing's been the same since. At least we have each other. <laughs> you just made me throw up in my mouth. <laughs> that cat needs to be fixed. <sighs> I can fix it. What, you're a vet now? <laughs> Not just cat. I can undo the whole invasion, but I gotta get back to the time machine. It's our only chance. <laughs> Where is this time machine? In the basement of our house. Our house? Cat headquarters? I'm sure King Cat would just love us to waltz right in. He's trying to lead us into a trap. That's why me and Coop are going in alone. <gasps> if he's telling the truth, the cats will never expect it. And if it's a trap, you'll be the first to be cat food. You guys can be our backup. It's time for a cat fight. some sort of trick. Three big toe freckles. You really are me. That doesn't change anything. I mustn't disobey King Cat. <laughs> what? I can't believe you. I, I mean me, whoever. How can you live with yourself? How can you sit by his side day after day and watch the human race be humiliated like this? You have to join the resistance. I know you've got the fight in you. I know you better than anyone. <laughs> You should be ashamed of ourselves. Go ahead, cat. Get it over with. <laughs> Run, Coop! <laughs> Run and put this right like I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> That's the me I know. 
Dennis was right. We're better off not changing history. Aw, oh, come on. You'll be out of our lives forever. Trust me, I've seen that future, and you do not want to go there. Get the ball, will you, son? <sighs> Only one of me. I must have arrived back in the future before I started all the time traveling. Hope everything else is back to normal. Ooh, Mr. Cat is just the cutest kitty in the whole world. So far, so good. <laughs> Ugly. Sorry, I had a ditch, Coop. Dennis, did I just pull the championship game? Big time. <laughs> yes! Everything is back to normal. Ugh. Okay, some things are different. <laughs> Cat, get away from there! He <laughs> doesn't recognize it. That means the cat from the future isn't here yet. Or maybe things have changed and he never gets here at all. Boy, time travel sure gets my brain in a twist. Time travel? You're kidding, right? Because that would be pretty dangerous in the wrong hands. Oh. Or pause. Oh, no! Please don't hurt my cool bumper car, Cat! I would be so sad if you wrecked it. <laughs> If you knew what you just did, you'd freak. You freak. <laughs> it's great to be home. Stop bothering Mr. Cat. while you destroy our planet. You should be ashamed of yourself, you nasty total stranger I've never met before in my life. Come on, girls. You can all earn your eco-warrior badges by ratting them out to the police. I wasn't destroying the planet. I was saving it. From Cat. Hello. 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 Minnie's ugly cat. Are you ready for your photo Hello. opportunity? Oh. Oh. Heroic Greeny Girl Rescues Cat? Says here the mayor is nominating Phoebe for a Medal of Valor for being brave enough to touch something so hideous. Oh yeah, real heroic. It's not like she was risking her life saving the planet from an alien doom machine. Don't believe the newspaper, Mr. Cat. You're handsome, not hideous. Oh, Coop, it's for you. We're here to investigate reports of an explosion in Bootsville Forest yesterday afternoon. That's him, huh? officers! Hi, Coop! <laughs> the greedy girls are here! We're gonna start earning our do good and air badges today. Millie, you live here? With him? Hm. I've still never seen him before in my life. Hello, Millie. Guess who already got her do-gooder badge for rescuing your ugly kitty? Yeah, that's nice, Phoebe. But I'm gonna do so many good deeds, I'll earn a triple platinum do-gooder badge. Hm. Don't worry, Daddy. I'll make you proud. Congratulations on raising at least one child who isn't headed for reform school. I risk my life to save the planet, and what do I get? Picture in the paper? A medal? No! They give me three months of kitty playground cleanup duty. Gross! Everything those little kids touch is coated in crusty boogers. <sighs> A simple thank you, Coop, would be nice. Thank you, Coop. In advance. There goes another Saturday afternoon.
birthday, Daddy. Aren't you proud of me? Unlike Coop, who is a constant source of embarrassment. Hmm. Why can't you be more like your little sister? Oh, where did I go wrong? With Coop, I mean. Huh? Not you, Pumpkin. You deserve a reward. Oh, why don't you tell me all about those good deeds on the way to the ice cream parlor, huh? Coop, no TV or video games for three months. <gasps> I'm done saving the world. But Coop, you can't quit. You can't leave the world at the mercy of Cat's sinister agenda. Why not? Being a hero is nothing but trouble. Why step up if all I get is... Why can't you be more like your sister? 302? I'm gonna set a new greenie girl record for helping little old ladies cross the street. 303? Oh, slow down, dear. I'm not as spry as I used to be. You mind? You're blocking the light. Dennis? Classics. Ah! 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 
things and call it a night. <laughs> helps old lady cross street 3,963 times. Greeny Girls Group rescue hideous mammal thought to be feline. Northern Lights pretty? Oh well, better an unsung hero than no hero at all. Here's your newspaper, Dad. Why, thank you, Coop. Ah, don't mention it. See if you can bend one past your own. Oh! <laughs> uh, kiss another one goodbye. That's a first. Old Lady Munson never gives us our balls back. Ah! Careful, Coop. Don't look directly at it or you'll turn to stone. I don't know, Dad. It doesn't look evil enough to be Old Lady Munson. Thanks. You don't look so evil yourself. Whoa. Yeah. I'm Fiona. You must be Coop. The rotten kid who lives next door who still wets his pants? Yeah, I am. I mean, no, I'm not rotten. Uh, I don't... Fiona! Get away from there! No great-great-great-great-great-grandniece of mine is gonna fraternize with a Burton burger! He's a non-breaking, but... yard-wrecking, I never... fence-smashing, head-blasting, I'm not... cross-destroying, uh... juvenile delinquent! Uh... And he can't even finish a simple sentence! <laughs> Keep away from my property! <laughs> Hurry, Fiona. We gotta get these heads glued back on before the magic leaks out. Of all the great, 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 great aunts in all the backyards in all the world, why her? <sighs> you know, Coop, my first crush was on a great, 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 great grandniece of old Lady Munson's. Until old Lady Munson crushed me. Literally. <sighs> my advice is never let her smell your fear. Hmm. I better borrow your cologne. Maybe I owe it to the ladies to get back in the old dating game myself. I could ask her if she wants to hang out at the mall. But after what her great, 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 mean, nasty old aunt said about me, Fiona probably won't even talk to me. Uh, it's all about perfecting your moves, pushing the right buttons, and resisting the temptation to cheat. How do you know so much about girls? What girls? I'm talking about Cosmic Comet Carnage. Uh... Let's see. Swap shop owning single dad who's into small appliance repair seeks companion who enjoys same. Huh, doesn't sound very macho. <laughs> also likes watching Roman gladiator movies. Huh, there. I can't wait to meet the lucky lady who answers that. <laughs> Look at her shred. Awesome oh, moves. Even if she wasn't a girl. I'm late for bingo. Uh, bye, Fiona. Fiona's here? <laughs> hey, Coop, don't be a ball hog. I'm in the clear. I'm glad Auntie Munson gave you your ball back. My ball? I thought it was yours. <laughs> Fiona, no! <gasps> Must have been overinflated. <laughs> Fiona! 
Jonah, get away from him before he explodes again. <laughs> Swap shop single dad small appliances? Ooh, that's no way to find true love. There. Now Daddy is a handsome entrepreneur who likes precious antiques and romance movies. Not Roman movies, silly. <laughs> Daddy and a lady sit in the tree. Uh, hello, handsome. <laughs> it sounds like we have a lot in common, and I would love to meet you in person. Yeah! Hey, Koo, you want to come over and help me hide garden gnomes? I'm going to tell Auntie Munson they were abducted by aliens. <laughs> oh, I can't. If the dragon, I mean, your aunt, catches me in her yard, she'll freak. Oh, well, I'm sure we can think of something else fun to do. We can? I mean, sure we can. <laughs> Maybe we could... If I catch you with this miscreant one more time, you'll spend the rest of your visit in your room under maximum security locked down. But, Auntie Munson... No buts. It's for your own good. And you fix my shed! <laughs> <clears throat> my, you look lovely in the moonlight. That's good, Daddy. Now let's try it again without all the sweat. <sighs> I can't win, Dennis. It's cool that Fiona won't listen to old lady Munson, but if she doesn't stay away from me, she's gonna get hurt in the Coop Cat crossfire. Well, you could avoid Fiona like the plague, but then she'll think I don't like her. Uh, I have to keep Fiona safe from Cat, even if it means I never get to see her again. <laughs> okay, Coop, this is the hardest, riskiest, most terrifying thing you've ever done. Fiona's life depends on what you do next. Fiona, this is for your own good. Fiona! You're in lockdown until you can behave like a real munchkin. <laughs> uh, it had to be done. <laughs> Whoa! When did Dad get this? Cat! Surprising what a girl with a nail file and a little determination can do. There's something I have to tell you that will blow your mind. Your aunt is a blood-sucking vampire? No! I, she's a soul-destroying demon from the seventh hub. Coop, I think your freaky cat might be an evil alien who's trying to destroy you! <sighs> you think I'm some kind of wacko, don't you? Try the exact opposite. Let me try and get you out of here. Like I'm going anywhere. Is. Fun loving lady? Handsome entrepreneur. Old Lady Munson! <laughs> Don't fight the current! Just go with the flow! Don't get fresh with me, Burger! in a 
not. Now let's put a twist in his ray gun. <laughs> Make you all better. <laughs> Fiona, about that kiss thing, I hope you're not mad at me. Mm -hmm. Try the exact opposite. Don't even think about it. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry, dear, but I'm cutting your visit short for your own good. These Burton burgers have no idea how to treat a lady. Bye, great, 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 Auntie Munson. I'll visit you again soon. Bye, Fiona. Get over her, Burton Burger, for your own good. <sighs> and fix my house! Ugh. Coop, when it comes to girls, take my advice. What's that, Dad? Never, ever listen to a word I say. Deal. The score is tied for seconds to go in the championship game. Come on, Burton Bingles! My crap has got more hustle than you! The otters have the ball. Kid with the skin rash passes to a delinquent whose looks I don't trust. <laughs> but wait, that good for nothing Burton Burger makes the steal! That's my boy! Go, go! <laughs> Harley's underwear. Whoa, dude, that's like a total insult to my tidy whities mm, Sorry, Coop. It's not safe to be around you right now. <laughs> Move to Denver Lake, why don't you? Chow to head, chop, dip with, dodo, black wit, mutton ham, nickel poop, net wit. Sorry I had to ditch you, Coop. Uh, I don't blame you. I can't believe I did something that stupid. At least I made it home. Ah! <laughs> <That's the hairball! laughs> Where does a hairless cat even get hairballs? <laughs> I'm in no mood, you whiskerless weenie, so just drop it. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, Dennis. He wants us to go upstairs. <laughs> He's probably got something planned up there. Well, guess what? I'm not falling for it. How'd he know you'd go that way? That's it. Game on! Set that up so fast. Ah! Huh? Ah! Huh? He's over here. No, he's over there. Uh, no, he's there. Uh, here, there. How's he doing that? Ah! Ah! Two of them? Did he clone himself? Or does he have an evil or twin? What's this? Ah! 
go? Dennis? We are the Beagles, mighty Beagles. We're off the leash. Whoop, whoop, off the leash. Whoop, whoop. Oh, hey, sport. All excited about the big game this afternoon? Excited about losing? Uh-oh, nerves are getting DA. I know the Timberlake otters are tough, but you can take them, sport. Gotta think positive. Okay, that was weird. Hey, Coop, let's kick the ball around. We gotta be ready to kick some otter tail. But the game was... No way! Gotta check something! Huh? It's 9.30! 9.30 this morning! It's a time machine! That's why there's two cats! Two cats? Time machine? The cat from the future must not be here yet. Are you feeling okay? Come on, Dennis. <gasps> Get back. That's not me. Huh? Hey, it's me from this morning. I'm you from this afternoon. Pleased to meet me. I'm not buying it. You're some trick of cats. Here, check it out. Three freckles on her right big toe. You are me. That means... Uh... Cat's got a time machine! Hey, if you're me from the future, how's the big game turn out? Uh, you kicked the winning point. Sweet! Sweet. Into your own goal. What? How could you be such a doofus? Hey, who are you calling a doofus? Me, that's who. Uh, wait, okay, I take that back. Anyway, that's only the half of it. When you get home, there'll be two cats waiting to ambush you. Oh, man, this is gonna be the worst day ever. Was gonna be until we got the ultimate do-over machine. Huh? A do-over? No, bad idea. Change one thing and everything could change. Who knows what could happen? Just lay low and leave everything to you. Uh, mm, I mean me. <laughs> Us? Kid with the skin rag passes to a delinquent who's looks I don't trust. Huh. But wait, that good for nothing Burton burger makes the steel! Who, who, he's our man! Kick those otters in the cat! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yep. And just like I said, while you were gone, another cat showed up. Then our fun has just begun. <gasps> we'll set it to appear in my room two hours ago where the cat can't see us. No, Coop. And Coop, time travel's very dangerous. Small variations on any action could end up causing change on an interdimensional level. Don't you read any science fiction? <laughs> 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 huh? He won't know what hit him. Well, Dennis, we're home from the soccer game. <laughs> <laughs> Missing something, cat. <laughs> and here's some for you. White Christmas this year. You can run, but we know exactly where you're going. Well, you mean where they already went. Whatever. Yeah. If they weren't so evil, I'd feel sorry for them. Keep jumping back and forth in time. Who knows what kind of anomalies you might be creating every time you. Ah! Anomalies? Huh? Ah. I don't know what you're talking about. Time travel is serious business. Okay, okay, you're right. I promise to stop goofing around with time. Right after I go back to the day Millie brought Cat home and stop her from ever finding that purple freak in the first place. 
See you later, Coop. Or sooner. Or whatever. No, Coop! Hmm. Ow! <laughs> Got it! Right on time. This game is boring. Plus, Coop never throws me the ball. Fine! Here's something you can handle. Will you, son? But she, she. Oh, no, no, it's Coop's fault. Oh, I can't even know. Huh? Hmm. Must have bounced off a tree. <laughs> so long, cat. Won't be seeing you later. <laughs> needs to clean down here. <gasps> oh boy. How many cats does Millie have now? Huh? Uh -huh. Come in here, Katniss. Right away, oh high and mighty ruler. What happened to me? from alien cats wait till morning. <laughs> Did he just turn water into milk? This could end world hunger and help all mankind. Nothing that furless mutant does is for the good of mankind. So why does he need all that milk? Like I always say, act first, ask questions later. This calls for a classic flanking maneuver. We'll surround him and... Yeah! Or we can try a reckless frontal assault. As usual. Planned it out a little better, Cat wouldn't have gotten away with the bottle. No, 
sweat, Dennis. It's the last one, and I know where he's gonna use it. All I gotta do is stop him before he gets there. Yeah! Sorry, Coop, but getting you to Aunt B's is like taking Cat to the vet. It goes smoother if it's a surprise. Daddy, we can't leave Mr. Cat! Sorry, Millie. Mr. Cat isn't allowed on any more road trips. <laughs> <laughs> it's safer for him and us. Don't worry, Mr. Cat is in good hands. Henry owed me a favor. We're good! Okay, son, can the melodrama. Don't let it up on my new recliner! Mm. <laughs> 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 Aunt B sure has a thing for banjos. And furry animals! <laughs> Come on, Dennis, pick up! Pick up! No long distance calls, dear. They're listening. <laughs> Oh, great. Now what? Sorry, Coop. Why do you need Coop? Uh, Coop? <laughs> Say, Aunt B, what can I swap you for one of your banjos? No! <laughs> no, it's the other way! <laughs> Milk and vinegar don't mix. Maybe vinegar will curdle Cat's formula. You should have told me you wanted a midnight snack. I would have ordered you a hamburger also. Watch your eyes. I'm giving this burger a kick in the patty with your grandma's homemade hot sauce. I call it volcanic burnout in a bottle. <laughs> Maybe it'll take a bite out of cat's formula too. <laughs> Even alien chemical engineering is no match for Grandma's hot sauce. Oh, oh yeah, good batch. Grandma's hot sauce always brings a tear to my taste bud. Always brings a nasty afterburner side effect too. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, who took my hot sauce? What? No! <laughs> 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 I 
may not be the hero guy or the computer guy, but I am the man with the plan! Ta-da! Volcanic burnout in a bottle. Yeah! Hot sauce in the hole! <laughs> so badly. Aunt B drives a hard bargain. But I finally got her to swap for that banjo. But don't we need a car, Daddy? Well, I... That's why I tricked her into throwing old Josephine here into the bargain. <laughs> now you owe me a favor. Plus, new carpet, hardwood floor, dinette set, and a brand new recliner with all the trimmings. Ooh, did Mr. Cat have a fun visit, too? <laughs> Don't you just love these crisp fall mornings? I'd sure hate to be hairless on a day like this. <laughs> See you after school, Mr. Cat! <laughs> Whoa! It's like a greenhouse inside a sauna! <laughs> Can't go on. Too hot. Oh. Save yourself. <clears throat> Leave the soda. Mm. Okay. Today. Would you like to come over? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Sorry, uh, we can't make it. Our bathing suit liners chafe us. <laughs> Later. <laughs> you said you never talk about the chafing. And who turns down a pool party on the hottest day of the decade? When it comes to avoiding Phoebe, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Hi, Dad, I'm home too hot to talk. Are there ice pops in the freezer? Dad? You okay? He doesn't look okay. Looks like a textbook case of heat stroke to me. Heat stroke? Huh? I wish you can recover from that. Then, what is it, Dad? It was my eighth birthday party. Huh? Huh? A day just like today. The temperature soaring, everyone having fun. Hey, that's you as a kid! Not for long. This is the day the innocents died. Watch. Dwayne, Dizzy, and I took the full brunt of that horrible sight. A four-leaf clover. Looks like this is my lucky day. Was that what I think it was? I'm always up for bizarre creature sightings, but this is the one time I wish it was a hoax. I wish it was too, but it was all too real. 
To this day, Dwayne can't even look at a birthday cake. Noisemakers send Dizzy into twitching fits, and a heat wave gives me the chills. <laughs> If the temperature reaches the teeny bikini threshold, that horrible bit of neighborhood history will repeat itself. <gasps> My only advice to you is live. Live, darn it! Well, there's still time, because like me, your childhood memories are about to be scarred. <laughs> Forever. Guy the Weather Guy here. It's another cool fall day in Empire City, but in nearby Bootsville, the localized heat wave continues. <laughs> uh, that Mother Nature is one wacky lady. <laughs> oh, come on. How can a heat wave hit us and nobody else? It's barometrically impossible. Normally, yeah, but I've had experience with the impossible. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing it, but he's doing it. And we're gonna find out how he's doing it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Dizzy, Bert, you better call Dwayne. The bikini is on the line. I repeat, the bikini is on the line! <laughs> Gadget, but I can't make it out. Try these. They're my Mega Zoom binoculars. Just feel the weight. <laughs> you carry these around in your shorts all the time? Well, duh. They're too heavy to wear around my neck. <laughs> hmm. Busted. Cat's the one bringing the heat, all right. Check it out. <sighs> Whoa. So that's his plan. He's gonna make her world a hotter place for alien cats to bask in. And you can bet the cat invasion is next. But worse than that, he's pushing us one step closer to... <gasps> the teeny bikini threshold! We have to stop him! I don't want to end up like your dad! I like birthday cake and noisemakers! <sighs> Get a hold of yourself! We have to think! I don't care how advanced Cat's technology is, he can't remote control the sun. So what's he controlling? Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I know where it is. Take a look. The water tower! <laughs> oh, man. Do we have time to stuff our pants with ice pops? No time. And we ate them all. Come on! Hello? Come over for a swim. The water is so cool. La, 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 la. Can't hear you. La, 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 la. <sighs> Came as fast as we could. We're freaking out here, man! Are you sure we have to do this? I don't know, I don't know! But I'm sure of one thing. If we don't take this chance to conquer our fear, our fear will conquer us! Whoa. Heavy. <sighs> Water. Water. <sighs> Satellite transmitter. So that's how he's doing it. <laughs> Time to throw cold water all over Cat's plant. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Brace yourselves. We are nearing the event horizon. The point of no return. The teeny bikini threshold. Oh man, it's deja vu all over again. Is that a noisemaker? If any noise comes out of that noisemaker, I'm freaking out, man! I don't think I can do this. I have a billion dollar bowling ball company to think about. And a family. And three turtles. Dwayne, you can do this! We have to do this! Don't you see? This is our chance to end the suffering! to stand up and tell the world that old Lady Munson and her barely bikini body isn't gonna haunt us anymore! To finally have our birthday cake and eat it too. <laughs> this is going way too far, Cat. A lot of innocent people are gonna suffer because of you and your sun magnifier. Yeah, speeding up global warming will have terrible consequences for the entire planet. Crops will fail, the polar ice cap will melt, cities will be left underwater. Actually, I was
was thinking more about the suffering caused by seeing old lady Munson in a bikini. Oh, yeah. Duh. Don't remind me. <laughs> Come on, Coop. Stop moving around and take out that transmitter. We're six degrees of separation from the teeny bikini threshold. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. <laughs> This teeny weeny bikini will sure keep the baggage cool, eh, boys? Silly fellas, we can do this! There's too much skin! I can't walk! <laughs> no, but Jack can! Throw me the binoculars! Okay, but if you drop them, you just throw them! Now! <laughs> <laughs> You caused this horror, cat. Now look at it! Look at what you've done! <laughs> Dang it! Just when I was getting set to bake off some of this psoriasis. <laughs> <laughs> you see? We did it! Everything's gonna be okay from here on out. <laughs> oh. Birthday cake never tasted so good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like victory. I love you, man. No, I love you, man. <laughs> <sighs> cool outside, but still nice and tropical inside. Yeah, who needs Phoebe when we got our own heated indoor pool? <laughs> Thanks, Cat! <laughs> yeah! Shoot the girl! Hey, girls! Hey, Luz! Not girls, Dennis. They're called Wahinis. And you're waving all wrong. I can't wait to try out our boards for real. <laughs> Wipe out! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Dad. Surf's up. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, have you seen Mr. Cat? No, but he's been here recently and more than once. <laughs> Mr. Cat! <laughs> <laughs> Feeding that cat. You. Hmm. There you are. Oh. Uh. Hurry up, Dad. Uh. Come on, Daddy. What's taking so long? <laughs> oh, right. Let's catch some waves. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Let's go swimming! <laughs> Doesn't the water look inviting? Ah, uh, better limber up before we hit the waves, D-Man! Baby! <laughs> Hi, Coop! Could you rub some sunscreen on my back, please? Uh, gotta go wax my board. Bye! <laughs> Stop kicking sand on me, Burton Burger! Oh, hello, Millie. Having a nice time at the beach? We sure are, Mrs. Menson. Maybe we should 
take a lesson before we try this out for real? Relax! Surfing's just like skateboarding. Only the sidewalk can move in all directions and sometimes rise up and smash down on top of you. It'll be easy. Hey, Daddy-O's, chill out while this old surfer dude shows you how to ride the tide. They didn't call me chairman of the board in college for nothing. Haha, <laughs> dig it? <laughs> Wasn't that, like, eons ago? No problemo, Cooperino. It's like riding a bike. Come on! <laughs> Just like riding a bike. <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10 from this judge! Hey, Gramps, maybe you should try a safer activity, like building a sandcastle. <laughs> Haiku! <laughs> Baby! Want me to rub some sunscreen on your back? No! I'm... Allergic to coconut oil! Uh, maybe we look cool enough just standing here with our boards. I mean, why go in the water and spoil the illusion? Check out the poser! Come on out and catch a wave, Catboy, so we can watch you get totally totaled! <laughs> <laughs> Stealing our wahinis. Come on, Dennis. No. Surf no. up. No. Cowabunga! I'll teach you to dog paddle. <laughs> I mean, cat paddle. Cats and water don't mix, sweetie. Why don't you give me a hand with the sandcastle, huh? Okay, I'll be the beautiful princess who holds the reins of power, and you can be the ceremonial doddering old king. figure out a way to outcool those guys. That's it! Kite surfing! Ah, baby! Wanna come swimming with me, Cool? We can share my snorkel. Gotta go uh, shopping! We need something bigger and less lame. Something way bigger! Where should we put the next window, Princess? Uh, Millie? Whoa. Wow! This is where I'll put the revolting peasants. Are you okay, old lady? Hey, Mrs. Munson? Back, beggar! You got some nerve getting my hopes up like that! Oh, lovely dungeon, Millie! Hmm? Someone call Marine Wildlife Rescue! We got a beach beluga in distress! 
You're the one who's gonna need rescuing! the whole beach to himself. Sure not because he loves the water. Huh? It's a UFO! Uh, it's an unidentified foul-smelling object. There's only one thing in the entire galaxy smells that nasty. Then it rhymes with coop. to a giant litter box! <gasps> Dad and Millie are still down there! Come on, Dennis! <laughs> it's unmanned! It's uncatted! <gasps> the guidance system is locked onto Bootsville Bay! Too late! It's gonna dump! I have no idea how to unlock its guidance system! Dennis, you're a genius! How'd you do that? It has a picture of a lock above it. Right, of course. <laughs> Set another destination. Some place this load won't do any harm. We can't drop it in the creek or on the mall. The soccer pitch? How about there? Perfect! New dump site locked in! Ultra high in fiber. Oh. oh, better get a move on, Coop. You'll be late for school. Don't worry, Dad. I got a feeling there won't be any school today. Has anyone seen Mr. Cat? Mr. Cat! I quit. Well, class, I hope you all enjoyed that terrifying documentary on global warming. And on behalf of my generation, I'd like to say, oops, our bad. <laughs> now then, your assignment is to be more eco-friendly at home. And to give you a little extra incentive, the student whose household is the most environmentally friendly will be awarded this solar-powered electric bike. Whoa! <laughs> Better get inside, girls. I'm so hot, I'm causing global warming all on my own. <laughs> Hi, ho, Glitterman! So it's really fast. Mr. Gerber is awarding points for reducing, reusing, and recycling projects, and he'll track how much electricity we use with these. We just plug it into the wall, and it lets us know how energy efficient our home is. Oh, man, we gotta make that fuzzy bunny happy. Gaming system. Uh, paddle ball is better.
better for the environment. So are blankets. We can also install energy-saving light bulbs, use the clothesline instead of the dryer. Ha! <laughs> you call that saving energy? I call it losing. We're recycling our old appliances and find brand new energy savior ones. Oh, yeah? Well, so are we. Use the sun, sweetie. It's Mother Nature's hair dryer. <laughs> Replacing our hot water heater with solar panels will really make those fuzzy bunnies smile. Way ahead of you, Bert! <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. My recycling project will put us over the top. Way ahead of you, Coop! <laughs> <laughs> we better get started! <laughs> <laughs> Your face, Burtonberger! You're cruising for a losing. Dream on, Henry. The Burtonbergers have not yet begun to fight. I mean, conserve energy. Keep talking. My wind generator will turn all that hot air into free electricity. <laughs> My pedal powered machinator pounds plastic bottles into bricks you can build stuff with. Poster Rex eats kitchen scraps and turns them into rich, loamy soil. Up uh, both your faces, Burden Burgers! Be my new eco friendly <laughs> alarm clock. He ate my cereal. <laughs> Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Where's Mr. Cat? Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, my composter Rex will devour anything in its path. You're going down, Dennis! Up, Up your, your face, face Burton Burger! <gasps> Coop, what's happening? I think we just turned into our dads. No! This madness has to end! We're gonna live like the pioneers, Billy. It doesn't get any greener than that. But, Daddy, what if I have to go to the little girl's room? Here you go. Oh, I'm gonna ask Mrs. Munson to adopt me and Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat! Hey, Dad, we decided to team up. We figure we can share that cool e-bike. The methane from my composter can run the mallets of Coop's machining. Do what you gotta do, fellas, but I'm still gonna beat Henry. Hey, Bert, how many bunnies are you making cry today, huh? Funny thing about that, the greener we get, the more power we use. I'm beginning to suspect sabotage! Sabotage? Hold on now, Bert. Just who are you accusing of sabotage? Mr. Cat! Cat? Mrs. Munson says she'll adopt us. Sabotage? Cat? The two do go together. And where's he been lately? It's not like him to lay low for so long. We better find him. But first, I have to use the shovel. Duh. Dennis, take a look at this! Uh, I don't think I really want to. Not that! This! That was right! Sabotage! A communication! 
communication dish. Cap is needed to coordinate the invasion forces. Come on, Dennis, let's shut it down. Your house is about to take off! Huh? Oh no! It's turning into a giant electromagnet! some wires crossed. Next time I install solar panels, I'll read the instructions. Ha! Instructions? That's for amateurs! <laughs> Let me try! It's still my turn! Your turn's taking too long! I still don't get how you won the contest, Lorne. Easy! We haven't paid the power bill for a couple months, so they shut it off. Dude, it's my turn on the bike! Oh, I'm riding! I am! Let go! You let go! Trust us, guys. You won't get anywhere fighting over it. Why don't you try sharing? Uh... <laughs> Seriously, where do you dudes get these bad ideas? No fair, dude. How come you get the half of the seat? <laughs> has more holes than my old gym sock. Coop, you promised you'd clean up your room. Sure, Dad. I'll get right on it. As soon as I can dunk. Uh, after the halftime show, I score a three-pointer. <laughs> my room's gonna be cleaner than yours, Coop, because I have help. Say hello, Mr. Maid. Mr. Maid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're so happy about cleaning, because there'll be no sports or video games until I can see at least 60% of your bedroom floor. <laughs> Is that one point or two? Hmm. I'll see you in a month. No sweat. I got a system. My 
living room is perfectly tidy. Mr. May, we've earned a yummy treat. <laughs> <laughs> there, that was easy. Too easy. Dennis! Cat must be using some kind of dimension altering alien technology. He could be hiding almost anything in there. Weapons? A whole army? This could be the staging ground for the cat invasion. Hmm. You up for a little exploring? You bet. But if we're going in, we gotta go in prepared. <laughs> I don't understand why your brother is such a pack rat. Maybe you should set a good example for him and throw out some of your junk. My junk? Uh, good idea, Millie. Uh, let's see. Gorilla mask? No, that could come in handy. Paperclip holder? Oh, well, I can't throw that out. You made that for me. <laughs> uh, gee, I, I can't seem to throw away anything. Well, if you can't throw anything away, then you don't need that. My waste paper basket? Well, I guess that is the one thing I don't need. I'll take it to the curb right now. La la la, bye bye trash. <sighs> Whoa. Love what he's done with the ceiling. Let's see what's behind door number one. Maybe this is where the weapons of cat destruction are stashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. Ah! hmm, my room would be even more tidy without that old scratching post. If I throw it out, Daddy will have to buy Mr. Cat a nice brand new one. <laughs> Jackpot! With your technology! Imagine if we entered some of the stuff in the science fair! Forget that! Let's start smashing! Oh, 
houses, our families, our video games. Maybe the cats rounded up all the humans and herded them into cages. Okay, we need to stay positive. It's up to us to bust everyone out of cat prison and start the revolution. Wait, we need a fortified base of operations, protective gear, food supplies. <laughs> Found some protective gear. We've got dairy. Three more food groups, and we'll have a balanced diet. Take our families, Cat. And you can take our video games, but you'll never take our freedom! <laughs> the whipped cream is slowing him down, but he almost has a lick! <laughs> gotcha! Fire! are trespassing. Regular dumping hours at the Bootsville Landfill are from 7 to 7. Bootsville Landfill? <laughs> well, it sure ain't the perfume counter at Massive Mart. <sighs> and it's not the end of the world, either. Welcome to the Old Junk Roadshow. First up, an extremely rare and valuable collector's item. <laughs> a Bronze Age Egyptian papyrus receptacle. Ooh, where did you find this priceless antique? In a garbage dump. <laughs> the thing some crazy people will throw out. Where's the thing? Garbage Egyptian. Money. <laughs> oh. Dennis and I are gonna <laughs> shoot some hoops. <gasps> 